Ranked the most accurate forecast in Central Texas by weather rate. This is Fox 44 Weather with AMS Certified Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. What a nice Monday out there. Temperatures today climbing into the lower 80s, 82 degrees, well above average. You know, the records are in the upper 80s. We weren't going to break a record today, but still way above average. Take a look at this. This is our live Centex Seamless Gutter Sky Tracker right here in Woodway. We are looking at 84, but I wanted to use this shot here so you could see the trees, the colors. We're seeing a few colors here and there. I know we don't see a lot down here in the Central Texas, but when we do, it's very pretty out there. And right now, the pretty shot is right along. Highway 84, this again is in Woodway. Skies right now are partly to mostly clear and temperatures on the other hand are in the 70s, 79 degrees at this hour, 79 Temple. It's still 80 in Colleen. Temperatures are in the low 80s down toward the Brazos Valley. Caldwell checks in right at 80 degrees and wind flow today has been out of the south 10 to 20 miles per hour. Cold front is off to our northwest. Those winds may increase just a little bit more as that front moves through. But this evening, we're still looking at, looking at a southerly wind. That's around 18 right now in Brownwood, 14 over toward the Comanche area. There it is on the, the satellite and radar. Quiet conditions for the most part. Again, cold front still tailing back off to our northwest. We are, will look for clear skies this evening. Clouds will start to thicken overnight tonight and by tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy skies as that cold front approaches our area. That's when we will see the best chance of a sprinkle, maybe a light shower. Again, chances are about 20%, so you can see they're not too big. Our water vapor, that shows you the moisture in the air. These rust color, the uh, the brownish color, dry air. So it's dry air back off to our west. A little spot right here where we're seeing some moisture moving in here, and that's what's going to help the, keep these temperatures up just a little bit. Remember, the front's still back to the northwest, so if we get a little moisture in place, the cold front kind of swings down here. That's what could trigger off a sprinkle, maybe a light shower here or there as it moves through. All right, forecast as we go throughout the evening to hours tonight. No problems. Clear skies. Those clouds, though, are starting to thicken. Notice those southeast winds starting to push in with that low level jet kicking in as well. So skies will be mostly cloudy. And there it is. There is the, the thin line out ahead of the front itself that's actually going to be kicking off some scattered rain showers. Pretty narrow line, so not everybody will see it. This is at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. As we go throughout the morning, there it goes, sweeping through. The front still back to the northwest, but you notice what happens. We actually start to clear it out by the afternoon, and there's what's left of the front. So again, it's out ahead of the front. We see a little line of some rain. There's the front, and behind the front, our winds turn back to the northwest, and some cooler air begins to funnel into the region. But out ahead of it, we're that's when we see the rain chances and the possible the mid to upper 70s here across the region. And then there's Veterans Day, mostly sunny sky. Should be a beautiful day with temperatures in the 70s here across the area. Want to give you an update on Ada. There it is. It's still down there in the southern part right now of the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to be going southwest and then takes a sharp right, heads to the north, and it looks like it's, it's going to be weakening a little bit. This is by Saturday noontime, a depression. But again, everybody there on the panhandle of Florida as well as Alabama and Mississippi need to be on the watch out for some heavier rainfall. As for tonight, though, clear this evening. Clouds increasing overnight, 65 degrees will be the low temperature. And then tomorrow, as the front approaches out ahead of the front, there's our 20% chance of a scattered rain shower, maybe a sprinkle. The front will begin to move through. Clouds will decrease. More sunshine in the afternoon, 76 degrees will be the high temperature. Now, as we look ahead here, take a look. This is the WC Tractor Long Range 10-Day Forecast. 75 on Veterans Day, sunny, and 80 on Thursday, 79 on Friday. Another front. Actually, it's going to be a warm front. Notice how we bump it up to 84 there on Saturday with a slight chance of rain. 82 on Sunday and then another front comes in late Sunday into Monday. Cools us back down into the 70s. Again, not much moisture to work with. Nighttime lows in the 40s and 50s and down toward Bryan and College Station. Still looking pretty good here. Just a slight chance of a scattered shower tomorrow with that front or at least out ahead of it, I should say. And then it looks good on Veterans Day. Quiet, but very warm weather. Temperatures in the 80s for the rest of the week. Front moves through overnight, Sunday into Monday. A little bit cooler. Nighttime lows in the 50s and 60s. You know, uh, Adam, we need to see a little rain here. It'd be nice to see some rain. It would. 